Welcome to Rick's Corner. I got Tony Pearson back. You guys have asked for him, and it's always nice and a pleasure to have him. He flies in from Vegas in his own private jet because he's a high roller over there, and he makes a lot of money gambling. So for him to come here is not a big deal. Yeah, he tight. <laughs> yeah. up. As you can see, you're uh, still training really hard. Yeah, I'm training hard. Uh, still twice a day. I really? Think, I think I'm addicted to this. Yeah, that's <laughs> what happens, right? I'll be turning 60. <laughs> How old are you? 59. Wow. So the birthday's coming up, and I think I'm training for that. Training for my birthday. That's, you know, it's nice to have a goal. It, you're right. You got to have a goal. You got to set a goal. Right. Short term, long term. A lot of my viewers out there who write into me are like uh, anywhere from 45 on to 70. I get a lot of guys write to me in their late 50s and their 60s, even their 70s, who want to train, who have trained in the past. Right. And then they lay off and they want to train again. And so uh, we have to advise them what to do so they don't get injuries, and a lot of them do have injuries. And you don't yes. go as heavy as you used to, do you? I can't go heavy. I do high volume of reps and sets and intensity. So I'm moving really fast. Yeah. But I really focus on my form because my, my joints hurt. Mm -hmm. My knee hurt, my hips hurt. So if I'm squatting, I'm really thinking about it. I'm really concentrated. You know, it's more mental than physical when you're training. Right, of it's course a, it is. It's a mind, yeah. But, so, but, but tell me about the joints and the pain. I mean, we all suffer from that. I just did a show about joint pain and getting out of bed in the morning and everything hurts. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for that? It's tough getting up in the morning. I wake up like a truck hit me, like who hit me? Yeah. And then once you get the body moving a little bit, you, you feel a little bit better. Um, it just, I really focus on staying out of my joints and put all the pressure, tension on the muscles when I'm training. Right. So I'm not locking these on the squats. You know, I'm, I'm really controlling the weight all the way through, you know, both phases of the, of the rep. So, no, it's, um, it's a challenge. Back in the day, we, we trained heavy. Well, yeah, and that takes its toll on its joints. It's exactly. And over, and over the years, and, you know, I've been doing this 40, 42 years, mm -hmm. so, you know, you start to feel your knees and your, and your hips. And well, bodybuilding is not as healthy as people think. No, it's not. I mean, it's, sure, it's good to train, it's good to eat right and, and take care of yourself. And I try to tell the young guys out there, I see them in the gym, they're loading like five or six 45 pound plates on the leg press, you know, yeah. and on shrugs. And on shrugs, especially, I mean, I was guilty of going heavy for a time. Right. I can put two, a 45 on each side and get deep into the sh trap and it grows fine. Exactly. Same results. Same results. Without the plates. Exactly. Yeah. I use 30 pound dumbbells to do the same thing. Right. And, and it kind of baffled me though, because I remember curling way back in the day 65 pound dumbbells. And uh, it wasn't hard for me. I do right. the 20s now, and it's like I get the same effect. <laughs> same, right. And I told somebody when Weeder used to come in the gym back in the day on Sundays, mm -hmm. he'd walk in the back door and pick up the 65s and started curling them. And I asked him on the interview, "How'd you do that, Joe?" You know, I was strong, Rick. You know, I was a strong guy. I could do that, and he did. Right. Right. That's not easy. It's not easy. 65 is that's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. I'm curling 30, 35 today. I don't even go that heavy now. That's all I got. <laughs> I mean, I have, but, but I'm sticking with the 20s right now. They seem to work fine for me. But, I, I don't let my ego get in the way where I need to. Yes, and I, I tell these young guys, leave the ego at the door. Yeah. I mean, you're strong, and I understand that, but if you got perfect form, okay, you can get away with it for now. Yeah. So you're gonna have to back off the heavy stuff and if you wanna survive a long time. Right. And and when you said getting out of bed in the morning, I've asked several people all the way back to guys in their twenties to guys in their seventies, how do you get out how do you feel when you get out of bed in the morning? Because I don't wanna be the only guy feeling I feel like shit all the time. You're not. <laughs> I know. And, and the more I ask you're, around, the more I realize, not. you know, uh, uh, and my girlfriend said, why is it you hurt all the time? I said, well, because I put so many years in on this. It's just right. normal. Right. She's it's, not, wear, it's wear and tear on the body. It's like a car. You can, eventually, it's going to get old. It's going to work. Yeah. And, and she's a distance runner. She's not in that, at that age where she has those kind of injuries, right. and hopefully she never will. But um, the weights do, and then wrestling, of course, bouncing around the ring over the years and mm -hmm. take its toll. So when I, I went to bed the other night, all of a sudden, not only my knees hurt, but my lower back and my wrists were on fire from arthritis. I mean, like on fire. Oh, my God. And I didn't know what to take for it. It kept me up. It keeps you awake. Right. So here's the other thing. If you don't get enough sleep, right. you're going to hurt even more. Right. If you can get a really good night's sleep, you wake up in the morning, you feel you're a whole feel lot less a, pain. A lot less pain. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, well, when you work twice a day, all right. How do you split your routine up? Uh, I kind of, as instinctive training, as we call it, Joe Sweet would call it. Yeah, uh, I'll do chest in the morning, and mm -hmm. I, I just feel what I need to work. I know legs. Everybody part at least twice a week. Right. We make sure that's going to happen. Right. Because if you're not, you're just, you're just maintaining. Right. It can't go six days without training that body part. Right. So uh, chest twice, everything twice, and sometimes three times a week, but light. Yeah. And just keep the pump going. Right. And that's what keeps you full. Mm -hmm. You know. Of course, your protein and, and sleep. Mm -hmm. If you train twice a day, you need to require a lot of sleep. 
Yeah, it's almost. I used to do recovery. Those. Recovery. Time. It's, it's just too much now. Getting to the gym on, in the afternoon again. I get done in the morning. But I'm like you. I, I started going in and doing. Well, I would do like the old chest to back, and then shoulders right. and arms and legs. And then I go in and I do an instinct. And I think, man, I'm just gonna do chest today. I'll do it back tomorrow. That's a good idea. That's what you do. You know, kind of listen to your body. Right. Your body it's, will direct you. Right. I'm done. And you know, I was in the hospital. I got out of the hospital. I had to take it slow. Going back, I do one body part mm-hmm. and pick the other body part up. The next day, maybe throw a second body part in with it if I felt like it. Right. And it just seemed to all fall into place. Exactly. How are you feeling, by the way? I feel pretty good. Feel good? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, I had lost 30 pounds, wow. but it was mostly fluids. Okay. okay. And uh, now that I've been training again, uh, I put on, well, I was 230. I dropped down to 197. Today I was 211. Okay, so you come back up. But it's good weight. You're getting your strength back in strong. Yeah, I'm, it's good weight. It's uh, good. it's solid muscle. I'm doing the IGF right now. Okay. Which uh, I think has really helped tremendously, and I read up on it that it's life in the body is 20 to 30 hours, and it doesn't enlarge the cells, it splits the cells. Okay. So whatever you split a muscle cell, mm-hmm. there's another new cell, which does not go away. Right. Whereas testosterone, that they enlarge it, but they, they go away when you go off. Right. So the peptide of IGF actually increases the muscle cells and whatever muscle you gain, just because I put on about a good six pounds of muscle over the past month. Oh, that's great. It stays there. Yeah, because you have muscle memory, though. You have that too. You built the foundation. You, you have that too. That's true. Yeah. But but it's like people who have liposuction and they get rid of the fat. They remove the cells. Right. So they think they can eat everything, right? You're right. Then they get fat somewhere else. Right. <laughs> because there's other cells. That's right. So right. when you diet down, and, and, and you know this better than anybody, when you diet down, your waist comes down, all the fat seems like it's gone. Mm-hmm. It's basically just reduced the, the cells that's, size. That's exactly what you're doing. The cells are still there. The cells are still there. Yeah. And the minute you go out back eating, the cells blow up again. It's like yes. a balloon. You let it yes. out, build it up. Yes. You said you get a lot of people from, from 45 years yeah. old and up. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have to stay on a, on our A game because you, you slack off for two or three days, you start seeing the body <laughs> changing right oh, yeah. away. Oh, yeah. The age really steps up and talks to you. Well, you see it. You got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. You, you got to be consistent. I mean, you can take a week off. Yeah, you're going to grow here and there. Here yeah. and there. Uh, I'd rather not. And when I was Same in the here. hospital and I got out and I looked in the mirror at 197, I said, oh my God, what happened to me? Nothing's there anymore. It just went away. Right. And then it took a minute to come back. You know, go back to the gym and start to fill out, start to eat right. Yes. Um, but there's a lot of men that, that they all have aches and pains and joint problems and shoulders. I say, you know, stay away from the seated presses, stay away from the heavy squats. Good point. Uh, there's other things you can do. Now, machines nowadays can do everything that the free weights do. True, but true. you still have to incorporate some free weights. You need some free weights. Mm-hmm. And I'm still on free weights. I am, you know, Basic stuff. Yeah. You know, power, complex, uh, c- compound movements. You do bench presses? Light. I yeah. can't go heavy. Yeah. I'm still squatting. Deadlifts, I took out. Yeah. Behind neck presses, upright rows, I took out. Yeah. But, you know, you, you modify and you improvise. I, I had talked about this on my show before because we were talking about a lot of people are doing 25 to 30 to 50 reps. That's, and I don't that's, agree. That's a bit too much. I don't agree because no, no, the weights no. are light and, yeah, you might get a pump or you might not. I think it reduced the size of the muscle on me. That's what it's doing, reducing the size. I go from 12, I go 12 to 15 reps yeah. on most of everything that I do. Yeah. Mostly 12. Yeah. But if I'm squatting, I do increase it. Do I do maybe 15, 20 on squats? Well, that's a big That's, that's a, a big, big muscle, muscle group in right. the whole body. I'm just trying to get the crazy pump. Right. But everything else, I would say 12 reps, 12 reps, 12, 15 max. Did you ever go lower than that? Back in the day, we do eight to ten reps. Right, it's a lot of eight to ten reps. You know, heavy. <laughs> you know, I would always stop, and yeah. I said this before. I'd always stop at seven. For some reason, my mind just said seven. Okay, stop. And yeah, and I started doing that this past two weeks, doing everything like seven reps. Okay, and I gained. And you gained. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. When you're going heavy. You gotta cut back on the reps. Yeah, I'm not going heavy, but but seven reps seems to be the max. And then Vince Gerona had said five sets of five at one point. Really. Okay. Uh, and that worked for him and some other people he was okay. training. Everybody is different, so you really got to find what works for That's you. That's exactly what that it is. That is the key. Everybody's body responds to something different. Yes. You can't be a doctor and give everybody the same medicine. No, you cannot. When I get a new client, I know their body is different, so I got to figure out what works for them. Right. I got to study them. Right. You know, they call me the, the doctor. Because yeah. I'm like, okay, this doesn't work. I switch. That's all. They make adjustments and, and here. And then they got to go home and do their homework. And they got to do the homework too. So that's right. That's what they do at home as well. So yeah, eating is. Are you really strict on your diet? I am pretty strict. I've been I've been living on chicken and rice for the past 42 years. So there's a lot of chicken and rice, egg whites, broccoli, apples. I give you my list, and it's a very short list. A little bit of red meat thrown in there, but mostly and maybe some ground turkey. Yeah. So the protein is high and low in the carbs. Right. Uh, just kick metabolism. If you're training twice a day, that's my cardio. I don't, yeah. do, I don't do cardio. 
Well, we never did back in the day. We never did. Well, me and Robbie used to go down on Santa Monica and run those stairs. Oh, okay. You yeah. know. But other than that, I don't do cardio. I train twice a day. And people, how do you get your abs like that? I go, not eating very it's much. It's diet. It's called diet. Yeah. And you know, and the other things that you brought up, abs. I see people in the gym working their abs and working their abs and trying to get abs and taking dumbbells and doing side bends. Oh, God forbid. I know. Don't do that. Don't do side bends. <laughs> you know, you're, you're building the oblique muscle. Exactly. Then you're going to stick out all your posing trunks. Exactly. As soon as you walk on stage, the judge is going to go, oh, look at this guy, the obliques and his trap jumping over here. There's three muscles you should not do. Yeah. It's massive forearms, massive traps, and masses uh, the oblique, oblique muscles if you want aesthetics, if right. you want that line. I have no no development here whatsoever. None. Don't need it. I never did. But but here's the vicious circle that people work their abs really hard and they say, ah, oh, they're just not coming in, I have to work them harder. And what ends up your waist starts growing and your pants get tighter, say, I'm working abs, why are my pants getting tighter on me? Because right. the muscle's growing. The muscles are building. That right. it's a muscle that's gonna build. Right. It's all diet. It's all diet. It's totally all diet. I mean of course you work now abs I train before a show I would do them three or four times a week. I do, but not crazy. Yeah. A lot of hanging leg raises yes. and rope crunches. Uh and the, I yes. the two. Those two are the best. The best in the gym. That's yeah. all I do. I just go home. Everything else is like you're using your hip flexors, your legs and your it's not, it's, you gotta find isolated movements that's gonna isolate that muscle group. Yeah, the hangings are great. Fantastic. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the way the bodybuilding is going nowadays with the new aesthetics and the and okay, the, the, physique. the class of physique yeah. category. Yeah, I think it's great. And I, would, I just went to the Lou Ferrigno Classic. Yes, and those guys look phenomenal. Even at the Las Vegas Classic, some real tough guys in there. Those guys look really good. Small waist, great lines. Not heavy. Not heavy. But a lot of muscle mass, though. Yeah, kind of a small frame with a lot of muscle. Well, mass. Muscle mass for a light body weight. Right, exactly. And it's so much, and they wear the what the the, the jams or shorts. Uh, the shorts, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think it's great. I like the way it's going like that. It's I I love it because it's a throwback. You got to do a posing routine. You got to yeah. have your compulsory round. Mm -hmm. You got your free posing. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's that's. How do you compare that to the guys of the day, uh, like the big thick bodybuilders that we see from the Olympia? Uh, it's just. Apple and orange are just completely different. Yeah, completely different. Yeah, I don't. But you know, we're from the '70s and '80s, and and, and, and Frank Zane, all these guys, and mm -hmm. Samir, and all these guys. The lines and the beauty of the so, shape. Yeah, that's what it's all about. To me, it's an it's an art form. You know, and your body is it, it's art, and you got to figure out how to sculpt that body. So, like I said, everybody's different. So you got to find out what works for you. Right. I agree. That's the, I think that's the way of the future, and, and uh, it is. It's getting to be more and more. I get so many emails from viewers out there that say they like the '70s physiques and what you guys do and how'd you eat, and, and it was really pretty simple. I'm really excited that all these young guys are really getting involved with this now, because every show there's more and more competitors. Yeah, I know. In that category, I know. So, the, posing is a very important key in this category because it means a lot. Where you position your hand, your feet, position everything, it's going to make you look bigger. Right. Was going to take away from your physique. Right. You got to you know, you be master presenting it the hundred percent. So when the judges look at you, this guy is perfect from every corner, even though you're hiding your flaws. Yeah, but the, <laughs> posing, the posing today is a lot different than it was back then. There's some poses they do today that I don't really. The side pose, for example, with the arm here and the other arm here, I don't care for that pose. I don't think it's very flattering. Um, and and back in the day when you were competing and even now and when you pose, mm -hmm. it, things flow into one to another to another to another. Oh, absolutely! And they have you stand in positions now for physique that eh, some are okay and some I don't care for. But that's just the way it is now. And it's like well, the class of physique that you must pose does an actual routine. No, I know. Yeah, okay. I know they okay, require certain things. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's your plans for the future? Um, like I said, I got a birthday coming up, and I'm training for that. Going on stage again? I don't know. When's your birthday? Uh, January uh, yeah. 11th, yeah. Oh boy. So I know, the big one. Yeah. The big one. <laughs> I've had several it big ones. It came too fast. Oh my God. Um, and you're living in Vegas, you're training people there? Yeah. I'm a personal trainer at City Athletic Club. And it's in Summerlin. It's a beautiful yeah. gym. All the pro Jay Cutler's there now, and Flex Wheeler is there now. Yeah, they all moved there, huh? Cali Muscle is there now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Cali Muscle's there too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a character. So, yeah, I talked to him a couple of times. He's a good guy. Great guy. Yeah. Strong. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <laughs> I saw him in the gym one day over here in North Hollywood and he had his hood on. He's looking at me and I wasn't sure who he was. And I thought, this guy's like a hard ass looking dude, you know. And I'm doing something on the, on the hammer machine and I go to walk by him and he goes, Hey, Rick Grayson, I'm a big fan of yours. <laughs> I said, Really? I said, who are you? I'm Kelly Muscle. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's a cool guy. Hey, he's all right. He's yeah. all right. Nice guy. He said it's showtime. So he's on camera and it's showtime. <laughs> oh yeah. He's got a good personality. Yeah. Uh, good people guy. want to reach you. Where can they find you? Um, Tony Pearson personal trainer.com. Okay. 
and my YouTube channel that I just started. Right. It's brand new. It's just Tony Pearson. And I'm putting a lot of videos on there about training, demonstration, how to train, how to work out. Great idea. How to isolate those muscle groups. Great idea. And to build this class of physique. Yeah. So check that out. Okay. Just Tony Pearson. And my Instagram is uh, Tony Pearson 87 Good. You guys all take that down, write it down, that you can reach him. And is there, if you had to say one thing as advice to anybody watching, what would you tell them? That you, sh like I said, most important is find out what works for you. Yeah. Find a good trainer. Uh, make sure you get a nutrition, your diet. Find what works for you and make an assessment of your body, what you really need. People work with strong body parts every time they go in the gym. Yeah. You want to be complete. Yeah. So you can work every muscle group right. work at those least weeks twice a week. Right. Exactly. And be consistent. The key, all of this, is being consistent. Totally. Because consistent. how do you stay like that all the time? I'm always at the gym. Yeah, I mean, people take off for weeks and months and they, they take no, off for years and no. they come back. Oh, i got to gain it back. It's hard. No, no, no. And it's not a matter of bulking up like it used to be. Oh, I'm going to put on 20 pounds and then I'll cut back. Well, you put on 20 pounds, it's hard to cut back. Right. I'm glad you said that. There's no bulking up season. Right. You want to work the weak body parts to bring that up. Right. And then you're going to look more complete. Right. If you put on five pounds of muscle in the right place, now you're gonna look, you know, fifteen pounds. Yeah, you put on, on you put on muscle slowly. Right. Like this past week or two, I like put on like well, let's just say the past month I put on three or four pounds, mm -hmm. but I know it's solid muscle. I can see it in the mirror. Yeah, sure. It doesn't sound like a lot of weight, but I can see a difference. It's a big difference mm -hmm. when it's in the right place. And you flex, yeah. it's gonna show. Right. And you'll look so much bigger. And three or four pounds of body weight, your strength goes up dramatically. It does. And when you lose three or four pounds, it goes down just as, as much. It is exactly. Gaining 15, 20, 30 pounds off season is, is bad on your health. Yeah. You're gonna fluctuate all the time. Yeah. I when I was competing and even today, I'm always like 10 pounds, 12 pounds over. So I'm always close. Yeah. I like to stay close because it's too hard. <laughs> it just can't go. Oh, it's just too hard. Oh my it's god. It's torture. Got to drop 25 pounds, really? No. No. Too much. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. And thank you guys for watching. It's always good to have Tony here and. Um, We'll see you next time. Drayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.